Hey, this is Prack with IRPMD, and today we have this uh, balance board, this blue one. Uh, what happened was the, uh, I guess the owner had written it uh, so many times that the motor actually burned out. And so what I'm going to show you guys today is how to replace the motor slash wheel on the balance board, okay? So what you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver. And I like to use the the hand one, the manual one, because the motorized one will strip, will cause your motor to strip, will strip the uh, the screw. And so what we want to do is use a a manual Phillips screwdriver. That way. We can actually assess the torque needed. And we can adjust the speed also of how we undo this. You can buy the spare screw uh, wheel from my store and the link is below. The wheel and the motor are all in one. If you look at my previous video, you can actually see that all the magnets and the coil are located inside the rim itself. And that's why this is not a pneumatic tire. All right. Make sure that plates are taken care of. Okay. Lift this up. All right, what we need to do is disable fuse source. It's going to pull the power off for now. I'll right, just pull this aside right here. Let's go ahead and open the other side and we're going to need to replace the both wheels you can't just replace one well you can but in this case we're going to use a different size amperage wheel so we want to make sure that it's balanced so the, the wheels are different voltage and what you want to use is the proper voltage for your battery and your board this particular one I feel like it's you can see the blue board and then you have the green uh, sensor uh, which leads to me the blue is a more powerful board and the wheel looks like it's a lower voltage vo board so what we need to do is actually get the higher voltage this blue board requires a 36 volt and this is uh, wheel here is 24 volts so if we plug this in I can see why it burned out because over time um, it can't handle all the power coming from the battery in the vault itself so we need to replace these with the 24 with the 36 and how you can read that I'm gonna pull this off real quick and I'll show you the battery I will be replacing the wheel all right we'll be replacing with this wheel right here and you can read it right over here you can see 36 V it means it's 36 volt and this battery here is not 36 volts so we need to replace it this is actually 15 V okay so what we need to do is to access the plate right here. Well, number one, don't forget, disable, always disable the power. And again, the capacitor is still loaded, so be very careful. Let's go ahead and lift the sensor plate up. Okay. Longer screws, rifle. Right 
Okay. I'm going to try to do this without editing. I want you guys to see what it feels like in real time to actually replace this. Okay, so now we have the sensor board put in place here. And what you need is an uh, Allen wrench. This Allen wrench is a... Get it to fit. So what we need is to loosen might have to apply some force here okay Just to loosen the allen wrench that will free the wheel from its base the wheel and motor again are integrated all right now that you got it fairly loose you can go ahead and go for the faster route There is a nylon plate underneath this to help cushion the ride. There are different models. Some models has an iron plate, but I preferably prefer the prefer the nylon. It's uh, it's more flexible and it actually has a lot of strength to it, and it makes up for a better ride. Cushioning is really important in this thing. this up so now you see you got this um, shaft that's flattened and then you got the motor itself let's go ahead and disengage the speed control and these are the voltage red I mean green blue and yellow let's go ahead and lift this up this is good to go now let's go ahead and replace it with the new one all right. Let's go ahead and put the. This is the working one. Okay. What we want to do is tighten it, but not all the way down. Enough that we can work with this because, as you can see, uh, the wheel is heavy and it's it's weighing down against the the uh, fender. What we want to do is tighten it to a point where we can still tap it to adjust. Because uh, if it does rub too much to the edge, either side, it's going to make the skidding noise the rubbing noise and that's not a really good noise to deal with and also it would also affect the, how the uh, tire perform. I'm going to tap it a little bit with a screwdriver taking it about right here alright now let's go ahead and tighten it Okay, and if you are in need of spare parts for any repair your bonds board, we carry it on our website. And you can reference this video once you get the parts. It'll be a step-by-step -step repair process. And if you have the IROHOP scooter, which you spend close to $1,700 for, about $1,300 from um, Shopper Image, this is let me show you the same repair process. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the sensor pad on. Tighten the screw. Okay. 
while we have it open we just want to make sure you just inspect make sure there's no capacitor blown or transistor or resistors that can, that can blow because it'll affect the speed and the workability of this let's go ahead and actually plug the speed controller in and go ahead and plug the main power yellow to yellow green to green blue to blue okay all right let's go ahead and test this one out well let's not test it because it should work already let's go ahead and work on this other mode here again we're going to go ahead and access the let's pull out the the lights the indicator light Go ahead and access the sensor plate, the balance sensor itself. Well, people call it. Some people call it the throttle, and that this does serve as the throttle pad, and also the transmission reverse and forward and speed. We sell this. Should this go bad, you can. Well, I'll reference my video if you turn your scooter on and you have a steady blue light all it's telling you is that the uh, one of the the light sensor underneath here is uh, gone bad and you need to replace it okay let's go ahead and place this let's go ahead and do the same we want to loosen this screw up here using an allen wrench I mean a hex wrench. All right. And this up. Okay. Go ahead and disable the The control and the power. This is a little tight. Just gonna tug it on a little bit. There you go. Okay. Lift this out. We're gonna replace it with a new motor. Alright, putting the 36 volt on. This is a stronger class motor. And you like this high speed motor or high speed board. We have it in our store. Uh, I was tweaking one of these boards the other day and uh, trying to see how fast it can go. And I g took off the uh, governor on it and uh, I didn't want to get on it myself so what I did was apply it to the uh, put the board down on my uh, on the floor carpet floor and then I hit the uh, one of the pads to test out the spin and it spun so fast it actually uh, left it left um, skid marks on my uh, my carpet so this thing has the potential uh, that's when I just took the governor out completely but again when you adjust the governor you're gonna burn out these motor like this 
So what you want to do is just keep it at the same setting. So that way you your balance wheel will last a lot longer. You should be able to ride this for two or three years. And if anything goes bad, it would be the battery here. And we also sell it. Alright, tires are good. I'll go ahead and tighten it. Let's go ahead and put the balance sensor back on. Tighten all the screws. That's the light indicator. Let's go ahead and put the power connector back on. Green to green, blue to blue, yellow to yellow. Arm this. Okay, what we need to do is clean this up a little bit. Some Velcro. Alright, I don't want to lay it flat. Move it about right here because the shell is going to be there. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the LED light into place. Connect the LED light. All right. Let's go ahead and arm the motor. And let's tighten the shell up. Seal it. out power it on front motor there you go forward backward that works well okay all right we're gonna go ahead and test it outside all right let's there we go as you can see it works perfectly on the grass. All right, this is Prack with iRepairMD. Safe repair.